I got this for a whopping $250. That's about it. Um, this is a <coughs> fake. This is a um, six string uh, sort of uh, uh, Fender Marcus Miller style looking bass. Um, basically, it has everything you would think that a six string Marcus Miller bass would be looking like and have and whatnot, including a small preamp, but although it's not the best preamp in the world. Um, and, uh, you know, the headstock has a logo on there that shouldn't be there, so I'm not going to show it. Uh, <laughs> I'll just show, uh, show this in, okay? So, six rings, whoa. Yeah. So, I saw this on eBay for the price. Um, this is an on and off uh, switch. Um, totally, the preamp is not passive or, you know, in any way. Got to put it on to turn on the preamp. Bring it on, off and on. And um, I was curious. Uh, I'm sure, I'm more than sure it's one of those uh, Indonesian jobs. In fact, I'm sure of it. And it was offered on a site on eBay that was here in the States. So apparently they imported this from into China and um, got it. And I don't know if they were able to sell it or not at a higher price, so the price came down. Um, so I guess they lost a little bit on this, but yeah, I decided to get it. And um, I have said in the past that I'm not really a, a, a six-string player, but I decided to get this and just fool around a little more. And just to, you know, just 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 to fool around and see what I can do with this. Um, this is not the first six-string I've ever bought, but you know, um, usually I mess with them a little while. I get rid of them. But this, I mean, this is. I found this interesting. I said, um, of course, the look is interesting of that early Marcus Miller style. And I just thought, you know, why not? And that's what I did. That's what I got. And, uh, you know, um, the craftsmanship is pretty nice. You know, the, the thing about some of these knockoffs uh, is uh, that they're, they're building, you know, not too bad. Um, the rumor is, I think I've said in the past that some of the uh, factories over there that are making uh, these type of instruments uh, are actually factories that uh, a lot of the um, U.S., German, and uh, other places uh, actually use to make their instruments anyway. You know, they're, they're the lower, lower uh, priced instruments. Uh, and uh, yeah, so what the hell? I mean, isn't that kind of a catch-22? You know, I mean, yeah. some pretty light gauge strings on here in fact uh, the uh, C string I think is uh, like a 30 and the G strings uh, is about uh, a 40 and it's, so it's light gauge um, even the B I think is 120 so um yeah B's not too bad
It was the third of September. But I always remember. Yes, I will. Cause that was the day that my. Yeah, get the rhythm out. this off of eBay and it's, it's not bad not bad uh, very good heavy construction that bridge isn't really nice so check out the bridge nice sturdy thick yeah so I just wanted to show it right quick um, the uh, <laughs> faux pas Marcus Miller bass maybe I shouldn't say his name but, but uh, yeah uh, it's not bad, and um, I'll use it for uh, who knows for some something special, uh, and more solo work with that extra string. So yeah, this is on the Max Brown channel. I just wanted to uh, give you this jazz knockoff, the jazz knockoff, Marcus Miller jazz knockoff. <laughs> and I said name the MM jazz, uh, knockoff. Oh, <laughs> Let me get out of here. All right, you guys, man. Uh, I just wanted to show this off. I'll get back with you. Ne till next base. <laughs>